Okay, in this problem here, we have this plain pi, and we have the family lines L sub A of this here. And so this family lines L sub A, I'm going to rewrite it x, y, z, and I'm going to, as such, so it's going to be 0, 3, negative 2, plus t is my parameter. This is over 1, a, and 2. And so because it's defined in terms of a, it has many different possible lines that are possible. Now it says find if possible course to the point of intersection in terms of a of l a. Well, if this is the case, I find the point of intersection, I'm going to substitute this into my plane. And so I'm going to go to my x value is just t plus 7 times my y value, which is 3 plus ta plus 13 times my z value, which is negative 2 plus 2t, and that is 19 when it's all said and done. And I have to find in terms of a. Find the, if possible, according to the point, in terms of a. So let's go and solve, simplify this. I get 2t plus 21 plus 7ta minus 26 plus 26t equal to 19, which gives me, I have 28t plus 7ta minus 5, add that over, and I get 24. Solving for t, I get t, 28 plus 7a is 24. Solving for t, I know I get 24 divided by 28 plus 7a. So that's the t value that will make the point of intersection. Okay. Okay, so here's my t value in terms of a. It's not very tidy, so I'm a little nervous that I made a computational error somewhere in here, but the premise is still okay. So I need to actually find the point of intersection. So then I take this t value and I plug it in either into here, oh, sorry, into t here, into my line. And so when I do that, I get la, I get x, y, z is equal to 0, 3, negative 2 plus 24 over 28 plus 7a times 1a2. Which is going to be 24 over 28 plus 7a, 3 plus 24a over 28 plus 7a, what a mess this is, and negative 2 plus 48 over 28 plus 7a. That's what the point of intersection will be in terms of a. I find the equation of the line, which is 0, 3, negative 2, and the direction of vector being 1, a, positive 2, and I plug it into this equation here. I'm just checking my arithmetic quickly. I don't see any computational errors, but it just doesn't feel very, very nice. I, look, I just feel like I've lost the minus sign or multiplied silly or something. But anyhow, let's continue along anyway. For B part, write down for the value of A for the line is parallel to the plane. Well, if here's my plane, and here's the line is parallel, well, that must mean that the normal vector here must be perpendicular. And so I'm going to dot product the normal vector and the direction vector. So I'll switch colors, new part. The normal, which is 2, 3, Sorry, 2, 7, 3, 13, I believe. And 2, 7, 13. We'll check that. And 2, 7, 13. And the direction vector 1, A, 2. Dot 
one a two must be zero. So I get two plus seven a plus twenty six is equal to zero. So seven a is equal to negative twenty eight, and a is happily negative four. I like that number a lot better than the one from previous a from part a. Now with this value, calc the distance between L A and the plane. So now I want to find this distance here. Well, to do that distance, if I can choose, find this line here, and that line is simply zero three two plus t. This direction is the normal two seven. 13. If I find this is when t is 0, if I can find this point of intersection, I can find that distance there. So to find that point of intersection, I take this value and I plug it into my plane. Okay, cleaned it all up. And so now, here's the line here. That's this equation. And I want to find this point here. This is A, which I'll call here. I want to find B. So I plug this into the equation. So it's 2, 0 plus 2t, plus 7, 3 plus 7t, 3 plus 7t, plus 13, 2 plus 13 t, 2 plus 13 t is equal to 19. I'm going to solve for t. So I get 4 t plus 21 plus 49 t plus 26 plus 169 t is equal to 19. And so when I add these up, I get 53. 53 plus plus 169 gives me 222. So 222t two, two, two is equal to 21 plus 26 is 47. 19 minus 47 is negative 28. Negative 28. And so t is equal to negative 28 divided by 2, 2, 2. Wow. Okay, so if t is that value, if I plug it in here, that will give me point b. It will also, if I look at this vector here, this vector is specifically the length of this when t is negative 28, 2, 2, 2. So if I just find the magnitude now, I'm going to look for the magnitude of negative 28 over 2, 2, 2 of 2, 7, 13. I'm going to find the magnitude of this vector, and that will give me my answer. Really messy. I have a feeling that there's a typo in the question somewhere to make all these answers all quite so messy. But that's the idea. The reason why I can take the magnitude is because if I find this vector from this line, this I know has t being 0, and so I have that point. And so this vector has to be extended from here, negative 28 over 22, to get to point b. So this vector is this in this direction, and it's going to be that particularly long. And so that magnitude will be the length I am looking for.